Motional EMF induced in a rotating bar. A conducting bar of length L rotates with a constant angular speed omega about a pivot at one end. So this is the pivot. It's rotating with constant angular speed omega. A uniform magnetic field B is directed perpendicular to the plane of rotation as shown in figure. It's pointing into the page. Find the motional EMF induced between the ends of the bar. Now, if you concentrate on this uh, bar, rotating bar here, uh, there will be a Lorentz force the electrons will feel inside this bar, which is QV cross B. So if it is rotating in the counterclockwise sense, the tangential velocity V cross with magnetic field into the page. So the right hand forefingers point in the direction of the velocity, curl towards the a magnetic field direction the thumb points down so the magnetic force should be pointing down but it's the electrons that i'm considering some negative charge the magnetic force points up therefore there will be electron accumulation on this side and uncompensated ions will accumulate on the uh, at the center of this rotation at the pivot point and therefore there will be an electric field set up and this means the electrons here will feel attraction towards the center so electrical force will point to the, to the center so these two forces will balance each other at equilibrium and this is uniform circular motion with constant angular speed <clears throat> so uh, in that case the tangential speed v is equal to omega constant angular speed times r uh, we need to consider we need to consider a segment of length dr okay now <clears throat> at equilibrium the electric force q times the electric field e will be balancing the magnetic force QV cross B, but velocity and the magnetic field are perpendicular, so sine 90 is 1, and uh, the charges will cancel. The electric field that will be set up is BV, and since we have uniform circular motion, this electric field is omega R times B. Electric field basically points from point A, the pivot point, to the end point B. And if I calculate the potential difference between points A and B, which will be the induced EMF, that is VA minus VB. This is minus the integral B to A electric field dot product with the displacement dl okay and what is dl from b to a dl is minus dr in r hat direction where r hat is the radial unit vector and electric field will points uh, will be pointing in the r hat direction e r hat okay so the induced EMF will be equal to epsilon is integral uh, from uh, so if we follow the direction of the electric field that's where an, a normal current would uh, flow if this is going to be connected to the circuit so this dl vector is actually in uh, r hat direction dr r hat and uh, minus the integral from b to a becomes the plus the integral from a to b uh, electric field is omega r b and dl is dr r hat so the dot product gives me one so this is omega r b dr and uh, going from A to B, R is increasing. So we have R goes from uh, 0 to R. So this is R prime, dr prime, the dummy variable. So this becomes omega B, R squared divided by 2. Omega B, 
r squared divided by 2 when evaluated between 0 and r. Therefore, the induced EMF will be omega b, well, r is the length of the bar, l squared divided by 2. <coughs> So this will be our induced EMF. Okay, uh, so uh, alternative method, we can uh, use our BVL formula, the uh, motional EMF. The induced EMF is the integral from 0 to L BV dr. Why uh, do I have to integrate this? Because v is not a constant, it depends on r. v is equal to omega r. So this is integral from 0 to l, b omega r dr, which is b omega r squared over 2, evaluated between r equals 0 and r equals l. So I obtain the induced EMF to be b omega l squared b omega l squared divided by 2 so uh, this is basically directly using the motional emf but here i have to be careful because v depends on r so b is equal to omega r dr for a small uh, range of r values uh, v can be considered to be a constant and equal to omega times r Okay, so uh, in this case, we have a rotating bar magnet. It has a constant angular speed omega, therefore, therefore a tangential speed omega times r for a, any portion of this bar at a distance r from it, the pivot point. The uh, equilibrium is set up when the electrons inside this conducting bar feel a magnetic force balanced by the electric force and the direction of the magnetic force is found by using Lorentz law Q V cross B shows me the magnetic force should be pointing down for positive charges but for negative charges it will be pointing radially outward and that means electrons will accumulate on this side and positive charges will accumulate at the pivot point creating an electric field pointing from the pivot point to the end of the bar radially outward direction creating an electric force for electrons which is attractive towards the center so these two forces balance each other q equals qeb electric field is omega r times b the potential difference between a and b is epsilon the induced emf which is va minus me b is minus the integral b to a e dot dl so uh, since the electric field is pointing in this direction, if it's connected to a circuit, that's, that will be the direction of the current. So dl vector is dr r hat. So this is basically uh, radially outward. Electric field is radially outward, e r hat. The dot product gives me e dr. So omega r prime b dr prime. Uh, it, it will be evaluated between r equals 0 and r equals l here so that's the end point uh, r equals l so this gives me omega b r squared over 2 evaluated between uh, 0 and l that is omega b l squared over 2 for the induced emf alternatively i can consider uh, bvl formula so the motional emf is bv uh, dr so i need to have a constant uh, velocity in the uh, range of r values so that's omega r so omega r is approximately a constant if it is in the uh, in a very small uh, radial distance range so this integral b omega r dr gives me b omega r squared over 2 evaluated between 0 and l the same answer b omega l squared over 2 is the motional emf induced on this rotating bar.